Today is at a critical point in America. Stonewall 50, the celebration, will take place next year in June. Um, uh, RuPaul on Monday night won the Emmy. Historic win for uh, first time ever a gay show winning the Emmy. Marriage acceptance. A dramatic decline in gay bars. We're sitting in one right now, uh, operating kind of as a host with us. And now, uh, all of the things that we've seen in the last three years and our fear about what might happen politically. Gay culture, could it just be about sex and nothing more? In other words, are we losing our gay culture? Uh, well, we do have a sense of culture. That's definitely an aspect of it. But ideally and primarily, when you say gay, there's one thing that makes me have anything in common with other gay men, and that is that I identify as a gay male and I'm interested in other gay men in a sexual way. And that is the only commonality that I have found consistent between myself and other self-identifying gay men. So at the heart of what your conversation is, yes, being gay is in that context about sex or sexual identity or the lens through which we see the world. That is the aspect of it that is just inherent. Culture exists, but it is about being gay first. Yeah. I, I don't want to think of it of, of it just being sex. And for me, I don't believe we're losing the gay culture. I, I believe that it's actually growing within what I have always wanted, which is uh, uh, emerge. So now we're not as segregated or separated. Now we're just intertwining the way that it should have been to begin with. We should have never been, you know, uh, seen as a, a section of the world where we need to have our own bars and our own little cliques or whatever and then not be part of the rest of the world. So now our gay culture is actually coming into uh, and being uh, recognized and, and, and going global and we're having all these other countries that have been so uh, against uh, gays, you know, give it give the gay culture life and, and, it's, and it's coming to the light and, and, and we want to see that continue, at least I do. I think that, I think that a, lot of, a lot of our gay culture is still going to be exclusive to us. But I think that the better question is, is it really such a bad thing to lose or should I say um, to integrate um, our gay culture into mainstream? I don't think so. I think that it's actually a wonderful thing. I think it's something that we have longed for and hoped for and strived for and worked for and a lot of people have died for. And the fact that our gay culture is becoming more accepted is and has always been the goal. So I don't think that's really a bad thing. I think there's a difference between, you know, having a gay culture and and a, and a lifestyle. You know, there's within our gay culture, there's many different lifestyles that we can carry as gay men, etc. So, I mean, um, we need to know the difference. Now, do we appreciate what we have created and what we have gained from since Stonewall, for example? Yes, we do. And do we do we nurture that? Yes, we do, and we should continue to do so. It's part of what we are. Yeah. So uh, the decline of a gay bar, for example, in many communities, there are many cities that no longer have a gay bar because gay community is completely comfortable in traditional bars. We're okay with that then. And, well, well, and part of that is because the children today don't want to even pay $5 to get up in a bar. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's part of the issue there as well, that a lot of times when you're younger, and that is the crowd that which bars often attract, you don't have the money to go out and spend $25 for a drink. When I was, when I was uh, uh, coming out, or when I was younger, you had the money to get into a bar. I mean, I just think that, um, and I don't think anything really changed as much as right now, uh, there's a lot of people that feel entitled. They feel, they take umbrage to the fact that you even ask them to, to pay a cover. You, you know, you think that it's entitled to not want to pay a cover to get in somewhere when the places down the street don't have one? Well, and I think that's part of the problem. I think right now we're losing, as a DJ and somebody that's in the club scene, I think that we're really losing the fabulousness of the, the club scene because it's been watered down so much. Well, I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I, I do want to say, as, as I push the conversation on, we're a live show that's going to be talking centrically about gay culture culture and this is really the heart of what we're going to be talking about of course current events but this, the various issues that affect all of us in our gay community is what we're going to be talking about